So today's question is from the Facebook group. Um, hi everyone. Quick question: Does anybody know if it is possible to automate a submaster with a queue list or timeline? This is the question I'm going to answer or to show a solution for. Um, the problem is. Um, in the first place, it is not possible because um, queue lists or timelines just refer to the very playbacks, and a group master is not a playback. That's why I took a little deviation and um, I mentioned this in uh, the group as well. And uh, let's have a look. Like so. You can do this if you spend a fader for the group master and so on and so forth. So, and this is what I'm going to show here. I made a very, a very simple show. I have patched a few dimmers and a special next dimmer as well. And um, this is so to say my group master. This is the uh, playback where I have stored some various values here, and this is my group master. Well, it is not the group master itself, it's, it is this dimmer which controls the group master, which is on this virtual fader. And this is how you can achieve this. Let's start with a new show. Go to disk and new show. Okay. Next thing is we patch a couple of dimmers, like patch dimmers, patch four dimmers here, and patch another dimmer, put this to say channel 250, and put it there, for instance, okay. Next thing, we arrange our windows, this is our fixtures window, um, a group window for the moment, like so. Um, then we need the visualizer, open window and uh, capture visualizer here. Okay, let's do something like 1 and 3 at 100 and two and four at something else, only that you can see how the group master works. So yeah, you have a nice picture there, records, onto a fader, this is our playback, this is everything is standard. So if we bring up the fader, like so, we have exactly what we have programmed there. Next thing is um, we need a group master. We can put it somewhere here. We could even put it on the virtual fader. So let's start with on the real playbacks. We move our four dimmers group, say, there. Now we have our group master or scale master. Let's have a look. Perfect. Yeah. So this is our master. This is our playback. So of course, if the playback is down, the group master does nothing. And only if the playback is up, you can change it with a group master. OK. Next thing. How to control this group master or scale master because this doesn't go into QLIS or uh, into the timeline thing. So we need another thing which is this dimmer. Put this to 100% and record it onto another playback, like so. Clear. Then, next thing, we go to system. First, we need to go to the DMX settings because we need to enable SACN. You see that SACN is already enabled because I usually 
use it. If not, just put it there, universe one to line one. Next thing, go to the little cog menu. Make sure that um, Wi-Fi is enabled, so the output via Wi-Fi, because usually this is disabled. Make sure this is enabled. Okay. Next thing is we go to um, triggers system. Next, triggers. And we can make this window smaller. Like so. So that we see what's going on there. We add a new trigger mapping. One, two, three. And now we add a new trigger. Add new trigger. Um, no, uh, mapping. Well, this is again the mapping. Sorry for that. One, two, three. Okay. And now we add a trigger. What do we want to trigger? Usually I would use trigger tag item, but if I use this on um, Scale master, I have only action select, so I can't change the action and, and I would need set level. So that's why if you want to trigger um, a scale master, you need to put it on a fader and then you can trigger the hardware fader. Of course, you have to select the fader like so. You read fader playbacks 5, okay. And now we change trigger type to streaming ACN. Here we go. And make sure that this is our address 250 where we have patched the dimmer. So, and just click on add and exit, exit, exit. And now we have our um, playback or Q2 triggering the scale master. You could even do this, I show this as a little surplus, um, if you put the uh, trigger, um, if you put the scale master onto a um, virtual fader. So we open the virtual faders window, um, change it a little bit like so and change it again to be um, 15 faders, like so. Now we move our group there, like move this one there. Okay. Of course, now our trigger doesn't work because this one triggers, this one triggers only this fader and uh, of course now this fader is not in use anymore. So we have to set up the trigger again. Go to system triggers. Um, this one we can delete. Okay. And now we add a new trigger plus um, Press or move a fader or one or more buttons to trigger. Now we want to change, want to trigger this fader. Now it reads fader, virtual faders 15. This is what we want. Okay. And now again, try this one. Okay. It has detected address 250 again. Add this. Okay. Exit, 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 exit. And now we change our group master with this uh, with this queue. This does even work if you change the appearance of this window to five or to ten faders. So it is very well hidden. Yeah. Like so. The only problem is um, if you change the page then of course it doesn't work because our group mass is on only on ch on page one. That's why you can have to do another setting. Go to 15 faders again. Okay. 
and now go to options, playback options of this one, go to handle and put this to locked. Okay, exit, and now we can still control our group master, we can change the page because this group master is page locked. And again, if you want to, you can even change the appearance to 10 faders so that no one sees your little trick. And this is the way how you can control a group master from the console itself. And of course, you can put this queue into a queue list, you can put it into a timeline, and you can play whatever you want.